The law enforcement community is grieving again. It's uh, with an incredibly heavy heart tonight that I announce to you the loss of Virginia State Police Trooper Chad Deermeyer. Trooper Chad Dermeyer once served with Newport News Police, and today he died at the hospital after a man opened fire at a bus station in Richmond. Now that suspect also dead tonight following a chaotic afternoon in the state capitol. Turn on your sides, Liz Palka is there, and Liz, uh, you've been learning more about exactly what happened and also uh, Trooper Dermeyer. Anita and Tom Trooper Dermeyer was part of the Hampton Roads community. It is where he lived and where he worked. This Greyhound station behind me is where he would eventually lose his life. We're told an unidentified man shot Dermeyer several times right inside those front doors. It's uh, with an incredibly heavy heart tonight that I announce to you the loss of Virginia State Police Trooper Chad Dermeyer. Killed in the line of duty, 37-year-old Chad Dermeyer was part of specialized training at the Greyhound Station in Richmond on North Boulevard. Colonel Stephen Flaherty, state police superintendent, says Dermeyer went up to talk to a man as part of the exercise. They were right inside the front doors around 2.40 in the afternoon. The male subject pulled out a handgun and shot Chad multiple times. The male subject continued firing his weapon as two other state police troopers return fire. The suspect eventually died and won't be identified just yet, according to Flaherty. Dermeyer died too, leaving state police with many questions, like was Dermeyer targeted because he was a police officer, or was this random? We, we don't know why he reacted, why he had a gun in his waistband, we don't know. Two adult women were also hurt in the shooting. They're expected to be okay. Dermeyer leaves behind a wife and two children. He lived in Gloucester and worked for the Newport News Police Department before joining the state police in 2014. His original patrol assignment with us was in Chesapeake area, uh, in what we call Area 46, which encompasses Newport News and Hampton. And while state police said they can't release any information on the suspect, they did tell us they do not have a Virginia address for him. So they do not believe he is from this area, but still trying to learn a lot more about him. Flaherty said that his investigators will be out here at the Greyhound station for hours still. They have many witnesses they need to interview. He also asked that the public keep the victims and their families in their thoughts and prayers. Live in Richmond, I'm Liz Pelka, 10 on your side. So sad, thank you, Liz. And we have learned that Dermeyer recently transferred to Virginia State Police's counterterrorism unit, and that's why he was training today. Troopers say that unit generally works with public transportation, rooting out weapons or drugs. But before he did that, Dermeyer worked with Newport News Police, as we told you. The department posted these pictures of him along with a statement. It says, in part, a loss of this magnitude cannot be put into words. Our hearts are broken. We feel incredibly blessed to have known Chad and to have been on his team. Rest in peace, friend. We have the watch now. Governor Terry McAuliffe had this to say. Dorothy and I are heartbroken by the senseless death of Virginia State Trooper Chad Dermeyer. This is a loss that impacts us all. It should inspire prayers for the family, friends, and fellow troopers who are mourning tonight and gratitude for those who protect and serve. And one of the shooting victims in Richmond attends Binghamton University in New York. The school says she was on her way to William and Mary for a track meet this afternoon. He says that she is hurt, but that her injuries are not life-threatening. The university is offering counseling to her and fellow student athletes. And as always, we will bring you updates as soon as we have them on air, especially tomorrow on Wavy News 10 Today at 430. 